guys. I want to show you a smart little rig that we can call a line through corkscrew rig or release rig. Basically, first I take a piece of uh, carbon 49 wire and I cut that off. And then I take a crimp, put on a hook and crimp that on. And I'm going to use to leave a fairly big loop on the hook because I'm going to put in a bait spike in a minute. So I don't want the hook to be too tight. I want to make sure that I have a couple of millimeter excess wire sticking out. And I crimp that with one hand as hard as I can. So that sits in there perfect. And uh, then I pass on one more crimp. And this crimp I'm not going to use to form a loop, but I'm basically just going to have that as a little bit of a distance uh, spreader here. So I'm going to put that crimp on about, uh, about five centimeters from the other crimp. And then I'm just going to uh, crimp that straight onto the wire. And again, use one hand and just crimp that on with one hand as hard as I can. So now I have, uh, I have that crimp uh, about five centimeters from the other crimp. Then I take a little plastic bead, or you can actually use a brass bead or a lead bead uh, to add a little bit of weight. And that bead goes down and makes a stopper here, as you can see. So after that, I basically uh, take the last crimp here and I form a loop at the end and this loop will be where I can attach this little clever rig to my main line. And in a minute you're going to see why this is really clever. Uh, so crimp that on with one hand and I've made a perfect little loop here. So this is my little uh, all-round release rig for all sorts of uh, soft lure, shads, real eels, and the new 3D Gobi. So now comes the trick here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bait spike into uh, this little loop that was a little bit bigger down by the treble hook. So that bait spike sits next to the treble hook like so. And then I'm going to take a corkscrew and I'm going to screw that in to the mouth of the Gobi or the tea tail or the cannibal or the herring shad, or any shad that I want to fish on this uh, line through corkscrew rig. And you can see now, I've put this uh, corkscrew inside the mouth here of the goby and it just sits there perfect. So you can never pull that goby off that corkscrew here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pass this loop through the ring of the corkscrew and that bead right there is going to stop uh, everything from going through that little uh, ring. Then I put my bait spike straight into the bait like so and that just leaves my treble hook hanging perfectly on that soft floor. As soon as the pike hits it he's going to be nailed on that treble hook and he's going to put that bait out and it's going to run up the line just like a line through system. So very very simple and clever rig that will uh, make a perfect hookup rate and it's going to protect your shads uh, from being torn apart uh, by the pike. So a little trick from us here at Savage Gear is the line through shad rig.